Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we check out the cheapest base on Amazon. Over the years, I have done a bunch of videos of cheapest guitars from various places and locations on the internet. And I see you bass players' comments asking for a cheapest bass. And finally, today, your wish is granted as we are gonna check out the cheapest bass on Amazon. I actually ordered this, I think, I think it was like two or three weeks ago. I actually totally forgot about it, totally honest. I bought it off of Amazon and I I totally forgot about it. And it arrived yesterday and I was like, what is this? I didn't even remember. Until I looked at my Amazon order history trying to figure out what it was. And then I realized it was the cheapest space on Amazon. So without further ado, let's get to cutting. All right, styrofoam. I love styrofoam so much. The pick guard is, uh, the pick guard cover is uh, all bunched up. That's a first. Okay, we gotta check it. <laughs> so this base is a Yoshio base from Amazon and it cost me $71. Now the body is basswood and the neck is maple and the fretboard is rosewood and it's pretty light. It's actually really light. The, the neck is definitely heavier than the body. It definitely wants to tilt a little bit, but uh, we, should, we should tune this up and plug it in and see how she sounds. All right, so I got her plugged in, I got her tuned up, and I have to say right off the bat, the neck is massive. No wonder it weighs so much. The neck is very, very thick. It's a, it's a thick boy. But uh, let's see how she sounds. It's very, very low output, and just right now I am seeing the pickup is pushed into the body and the screw is kind of sticking out like it's stuck on something. Ah, there it goes. Weird. Even still, um, I'm having to add about 28 dB to the input of this base to get it to really do much with the interface. I am plugged directly into my Universal Audio Apollo interface and I'm using a Galen Kruger uh, bass amp sim on the input and i'm at having to add 27 db of input just to hit and register on my DAW. that gives you an idea of how low output these pickups are not too shocking but i thought it was definitely worth mentioning You know, once you crank up the gain, it actually doesn't sound too bad. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I will note that the action is a very, very high. It's really, really high. And the saddles are almost all the way down as it is. So I would tend to think that this needs a neck shim to kind of tilt the neck so you can get the, the action where you need it to. Overall for 70 bucks though, Honestly, if I started out on this thing, I would be probably pretty stoked. Now taking this to a guitar shop and just getting a basic setup would do this bass wonders as well. Hey, 
And lastly, this base smells of, I think, acetate or paint thinner or something like that. It's really, it smells really bad. I'll be honest with you. And normally this kind of thing wouldn't bother me, but it's fairly strong here in the room. I'm actually gonna open up a door right after I get done filming this. But again, for $71, not too bad. Crank up the game, set it up a little bit, and you are good to go. Uh, I will link down below in the description if you wanna check one out for yourself. Overall, not a bad deal for $71, I have to say. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.